Subscribe to smartphone tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Hey guys, welcome to another video and in today's video we're going to have a look at MIUI Beta 9.4.25 which is the latest global beta for Xiaomi devices and the Poco F1 has it as well. There are not many major major changes but there are small fixes, small tweaks here and there. So we'll quickly have a look at that. The download link for this update is mentioned in the description. At the same time, we are on the 27th of April which is very very close to the contest end date and one of you, yes, one of you will get the Zenfone M2. And I will announce that winner on a live stream, which I do after the contest is over. So stay tuned to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and at the same time, the community on YouTube as well. So thank you very much for that. And apart from that, I have a new schedule to announce for you guys. Now going forward from the 1st of May, every alternate day at 7 p.m., there will be an upload on smartphone tutorials. That means you will have three to four regular uploads every week, and you will not be wondering like when is the next upload for us so that is going to be awesome and before we begin if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video at the same time here's a card to my second channel that is kratos 390 go ahead and check that channel out as well now in the description there is also a link to participate in the giveaway you still have three or four days so go try your luck and share this video as much as you can now without further ado hello awesome people Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kailash. Let's get going. Hey guys, welcome to another video and as you can look on the screen right now, we are talking about MIUI Global Beta ROM 9.4.25. Now the update that I have right now is the nightly one and the full version is now out for a lot of devices. So before we actually dive into the changes and what really is new, we're going to check a few basic things like the change log and what they promised a few days back that is coming in this particular update versus what do we have right now. So first of all, we had this post posted on to 25th, that's like one or two days back, sneak peek of MIUI 10 global beta ROM, that's 9.4.25 bug fixes and optimization. Now the important part over here is they clearly state that our developers are focusing on some great improvements in the camera, focused on op optimizing the system, and there are some important bugs which have been fixed in this week's update. So we have update to Android security patches, so we will check that first, if that has made its way through to the final update so security patch is the first of april now what are you doing there xiaomi then didn't really go that great but that's fine we've not uh, moved on to may yet so that's that's completely fine added lock screen resident notification in dnd state so it's basically a new dnd notification method so let's press the volume button over here and let's put it in dnd Let's lock the screen and if we unlock it, as you can see over here, it says there is a notification call and notifications will be silenced until you turn off DND. So that's another thing. Next up, let's go to the browser again. We have a fixed talkback mode was not charging, but prompted fast charging. So talkback is basically accessibility feature wherein if you used to connect the phone to a normal charger, you would still be notified by voice that it is fast charging. So that has been fixed. Problem still occurs in special cases after screen turned off. Uh, don't really know what that is, but they fixed something there. So, <laughs> all right. Now we talk about the important things over here. That is the camera fixed switching to camera mode under square frame from front of the camera and exiting square frame when returning. Now I didn't really experience this issue because I don't use square mode that much. Fix the occasional darkening of filter. Um, not really, I don't use filters. Fixed filter repeated rendering. Data usage, fixed data usage starts occasionally stopped running. So this is the one that they are talking about if you go over here and you go to data usage this would be the crash or freeze or may not work properly and stuff so they seem to have fixed that uh, so yeah we will check that when we review the rom fix the status display problem of settings page so that is another good fix that they have put now this was before the update let's move on to the change log of the full release now it has come up for these many devices so the update for Note 4X and Redmi 5 Plus is delayed due to system errors. Of course, this is a beta, so expect some bugs. And uh, how to download this update? Well, I'll leave a link in the description, which will help you to download this particular update. And 
you can go ahead and install it through TWRP and stuff like that. But let's quickly go to settings over here and let's have a look at about. This is of course Android 9 Pie, security patch is 1st April. This is MIUI 10 Global Beta. Now apart from this, if you see a few small changes over here, for example, if we go to dual apps, say if I create a dual Facebook over here, turn on, let's wait for it to create a dual app. Okay, they've done that. Now let's actually open the second Facebook. This is something that they have added new as well. This is the new animation for dual app. So every time you launch a duplicate app, you will notice that this particular animation plays. That is the animation that they have changed. Apart from that, the camera and everything else seems to be the same. They have still not added camera to API. I have gone ahead and checked. Google Lens is now available over here. So that is a good thing. And uh, apart from that, you have tilt shift square and all the other options no major changes out there so more or less this is an incremental update if you go to security agree and if you scroll down security always on guard this is something that is the new text that they have added and if you click on game speed booster that is the awesome game speed booster that we have now it has suggested games. It didn't have the same in the previous update. So it has an option to download games and a lot of other things. Uh, let me check actually if they made any changes over here. So I'm expecting them to put a bigger FPS counter, which is always on in the game speed booster. Right. So again, they have gone to the blue icon. I don't really know what is going on with Xiaomi here because they were first on blue, then they went to yellow, which looked great but now they're back to blue and this looks like a more updated version. So that is good. So all in all, this is a good update. I've not had any issues in the last two to three hours that I've been using it. I'll leave the link in the description to download and flash it if you wish to using TWRP. So one more thing that you guys really, really liked is the charging animation. So let's go ahead and check that as well. Okay, so the new charging animation is still there. If that is what makes you feel happy, then of course it is still there in this particular update. So that was everything about this week's, uh, you know, update and uh, feed Pocophone F1. Let me know in the comment section, how did you like it? What are the things that I missed? And uh, yes, very soon we will have uploads every alternate day. For now, this is Kailash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Until the next one, keep smiling, take care, goodbye.